Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 and the Law of Resistance expansion as we're playing with the French Empire. All right, so just to address a few things from the previous video on the comments uh, that I saw. Uh, so first of all, a lot of people were worried about the fact that I didn't do the, you know, I didn't, re you know, reveal intel here and use our uh, decryption bonus. Uh, against the Germans. Well, first of all, we don't have it. Remember, they reset their ciphers, so we had to redo it. Uh, but even if we did have it, I wouldn't have used it for the initial offensive because I, I don't think we really needed it uh, for just kind of pushing across their land. Now, this might increase the speed against them. Let me just double check here. Uh, no, it doesn't even decrease the speed. So there was really no reason uh, to get it when we weren't fighting troops. So I wouldn't have used it anyways. And there's a little spot here that needs to get taken. Uh, but yeah, I wouldn't have used it uh, until we got to this situation here, where, you know, they're actually here to stop us. Uh, there's no reason to get it when we're just pushing across their, their lands with barely any resistance. So we'll use that here probably pretty soon, because we get it in 18 days. Uh, so there was that. A lot of people brought that up. Uh, another thing some people brought up that I, I completely forgot to mention last episode is not defending this province here. The reason why I didn't defend it is because we don't have it, guys. Uh, I don't know what happened here. Uh, why we don't own this. Uh, I remember we got it, didn't we? And maybe I'm mistaken and misremembering, but I don't think so because a couple of other people brought it up too in the comments, you know, calling it our oil island. Um, and yeah, they got it somehow. I don't know if it was a, yeah, it couldn't have been a focus. They don't have a unique focus tree. But yeah, they're the they're the owner, uh, not the, the controller. Like if we were to show what's happening here in Germany, Germany owns it, we control it. Uh, so they are the owner of that. And so that's why I didn't defend it. I forgot to bring it up. Because uh, they didn't, it was before we declared war, they had that. So I'm not entirely sure why, how we lost it, uh, but we did. Uh, so that's why I didn't defend there. And then also, the last thing here, Indochina. They have not uh, joined the war effort yet, guys. They're not in the conflict. Uh, so that's the reason why we're not not fighting over here. Uh, they, they haven't really got involved just yet. I did want to make some adjustments here with our divisions, though. Uh, while I was looking at this, I realized it is not great. Uh, so what we're going to go ahead and do is go ahead and bring these guys up here. I know we're losing our entrenchment by doing this. But yeah, I think that this would be wise to kind of change this up a little bit. Uh, and these are hills. Okay, so we'll keep two units there. Uh, what I, I might do is actually have these guys take the railroad so they get there quicker. And like have them go all the way up. And then these guys, let's kind of change this up here. Go all the way over here, over here, just so that we have our best divisions. And I'm going to try and have two there. We'll see if that ends up working or not. Uh, so that's the situation there. All right, so we have some more planes to put in the air, and I did get this airbase here, so we're going to put them here. I think having the, the bonus here would be worth it. Uh, just throw 100 fighters, although maybe we should take a look and see how many planes the enemy has. Uh, before we do that, they have a they have a few, a couple hundred. Um, I'm trying to figure out whether we should just throw a hundred into the air or two hundred. Let's start with a hundred and see if it needs to be increased. We'll see if that's enough to get us air superiority here. Uh, so we'll just dip back over here a little bit later. All right, so we've got troops training here, and uh, we're ready to get started in today's episode. So we are attacking across there. Let's go and attack here as well, because we could win there. Uh, so let's go and start that attack. We're trying to push forward, we're trying to get these guys wrapped up here. Maybe we got to cut off right around here somewhere, which is going to be tough because they have forts. So we're going to need to come across this way first. But we're currently defending there, so that's not a possibility. So let's send this division over here. Uh, we're also losing here, so let's go and attack right there. And then try and help them out a bit so that actually goes yellow. All right. Let this baby play. It does look like this is now going to be a loss. We had the win there for a little while, but they put some more troops there, so... All right, let's go ahead and send these guys in now. Alright, to try and help up with that defense. And more non-aggression pact offers, which we are going to decline. Uh, and trying to get their, uh, the German fleet destroyed as they patrol through the English Channel. Uh, we haven't had a naval engagement with them just yet. I'm not entirely sure how they've been avoiding us, but they have been. Uh, we're still trying to get this division over here. They did take our land right there. Uh, let's see how long it's going to take for these planes to get here. Uh, 19th of July, so tomorrow. And it looks like we also have another battle that we did over here. We sunk a, a convoy. Okay. 
All right, so it does look like this is now gonna fail because of their attack on us. So that's unfortunate. We did win there though, so that's good. We are defending here. We'll get more troops over there to help out here. Let's send let's send this guy down here to Frankfurt. I want to I want to make sure that we keep that. We're attacking there and we're losing, but I'll send another division there though. And this attack is now going to fail, so might as well pull it back. We can try attacking with a better division. See if that. No, that's not going to succeed. Uh, I almost want to go and push him back here, just so we have less territory we have to cover here. Uh, I still want to cut off here, though, but if we can reduce the number of troops they have, it'd be helpful. They're willing to send us on lease. Uh, yeah, we'll take that support equipment. Uh, we could use that. And we lost eight submarines. Good God. All right, so that has confirmed that we should probably pull back the submarines from this particular area. This is not going well over here. We'll keep bombing them, though. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't think we should keep the submarines there anymore. <laughs> that is not going well at all. Uh, we can't tell them to uh, disengage right now. But lost another submarine. However, we sunk a battleship. And it looks like we sunk them with a, a submarine. Wow, nice. They just don't have the screening. Their screening efficiency is too low. So one of our submarines actually sunk uh, one of their uh, battleships. That is great. Just got a lucky torpedo off and hit them. Okay, I thought it was going to be the... Uh, uh, our planes that did all the work in that regard. Let's go and just send all these guys. Should be able to get the win now. Let's try here again. All right, so we did win there, so we're going to get to push forward. Won there as well. Let's just dip back over here now that we have our planes here and see how things are going in the sky. So we are able to control it, and that will give us a nice bonus. Uh, so that will be really helpful. And we have the other division here as well. Let's go and take him and move him over here. And hopefully us having the river bonus here will be enough. Uh, stop them from being able to advance there. We'll have to see. Let's see, because yeah, they will have to attack across the river. And if they support from this side, there's a river penalty there as well. So, all right. So we got seven convoys sunk there. Hoping these are troop convoys, uh, of like uh, South American troops that are being brought down here. They're still not attacking us over here. Uh, they're just not interested in attacking us there. Uh, I guess we take a look. See how we're doing in the skies here. Oh yes, that's right. I forgot. I wanted to move these guys. Uh, I wanted them to instead bomb here. Uh, or we could do it here, I suppose. Bomb in their territory here. Uh, maybe try and bomb Vienna. All right, so we'll move them there. And so far, winning everywhere else. All right, we could attack here, try and help these guys out. Looks like they actually push us back there, in fact. Let's go ahead and go here now. Uh, these defenses are going nicely. We have advance there as well, so that's great. Uh, let's go ahead and attack here because they've already defeated us there. Let's instead have this guy support here. So try to get another division over there, but yeah, they beat us quite quickly. Uh, I don't know where he's going, but stay here, man. Our troops are moving up along the front a little bit too much. I'm not entirely sure why they, they're moving so much, but they are. All right, let's go and attack over this way, and then we're going to send these troops in here. Uh, and I don't think we can win there, so instead we'll just send this guy over here. And then maybe support with this one division here. Just trying to, you know, block them so that we can grab that port and the goodies that are there. Uh, pretty weak right here. Let's attempt an attack there. Let's support the attack. Maybe I should have sent them motorized. Uh, and can we get our guys here before they do? Let's just take a look. They're going to get there in 15 hours. I don't think we'll get there that quick because we're crossing the river. Never mind. We're only going to take two hours. Our guy's on its way. So he'll be there soon. So we're trying to get this... Uh, province back under our control. Let's go and attack them here and send these guys to support here. Uh, and they're not attacking along the Maginot no more, uh, unfortunately. I was hoping we could kill a lot of them on those forts, but they haven't been inclined to attack our forts for good reason. Uh, AI typically doesn't like attacking level 10 forts. Uh, we didn't get here in time, and let's go and attack this way. Looks like we're going to win. Uh, so we were able to seize that from them. Let's take a look and see what this is. Uh, another battleship sunk, or and this is actually the same battleship, I think. Yeah, this is the battle that we hadn't seen yet, we, we were looking at. We lost three submarines, and I'll trade three submarines for a battleship any day of the week. Man, that's not bad at all. And they almost lost some of their other ships as well. Some of those cruisers. Uh, we got another battle here, sunk four convoys. All right, and that's it. And so far, I haven't really seen anything happening over here. Haven't seen the Italians help them out much either. They're mostly just defending their own territory. They don't seem very inclined to do anything. All right. I just wanted to see how that was going. 
Uh, we still only have the Cypher against the British right now. And let's go ahead and push forward here now. And this guy's going to go here, and then he's going to go there. Alright. Uh, probably wouldn't be able to tank there successfully. I'm just looking for, like, easy easy wins. Uh, a lot of our troops are so tired, their organization is, is really, really low. Because I keep the attack going almost at all times. Uh, getting across this river here is going to be challenging. So that we can uh, push them back this way. And I don't know why they're so inclined to leave so many provinces open. I'm not sure, like, what they're doing. They keep on trying to come down here when we have, like... We have open provinces, man. That aren't like being de that aren't being defended right now. It's just really strange. I'm not sure what they're doing. Uh, let's go and pull this back now. Just trying to, and I, I don't know if they have enough troops to defend all that. I guess we'll find out. Uh, let's see what this battle was. Uh, two heavy cruisers sunk. Okay, very nice. It looks like the submarine sunk one of them. Yeah, and then uh, yeah, it was one of these submarines here that sunk them. All right, so uh, our submarines are having a lot of success right now sinking their capital ships because they don't have the screen support that they need uh, because we've already previously sunk a lot of those destroyers and stuff that would be screening them. See so if they've done anything here, they have not, uh, and it doesn't look like they're gonna be able to. We should be able to hold that from here on out with those extra troops. Uh, no non-aggression packs from the common turn. We're not signing those, man. All right, so. Let's go ahead and push forward here. I know we're stretching out the front, guys, um, so I'm not gonna move that guy here even though it's wide open. Uh, well, you know, actually, what if we attack there and then moved over here? Yeah, I guess we can try doing that. Support that attack, although we're about to lose here, so maybe we should attack here instead, try and help them out. Really, we just need to get more troops up along the front. All right, so this guy's gonna keep on moving here. And I'm gonna try and take that there, see if we can't cut these guys off. Uh, let's go and stop that. Stop that as well. Oh, they're now attacking us there. Okay, never mind, we'll keep it going then. So that we actually can win it. Try and get up behind them. We'll see how that goes. Might end up getting ourselves cut off there, because we just don't have enough divisions to cover the whole front line there. Uh, sunk some more destroyers. Again, those are really helpful getting those sunk because that's what's allowing our submarines to dominate. And there's 10 destroyers, 10 German destroyers. So we can't possibly have much of a navy left. We'll wait to take a look at it because we're, we're busy. All right, still not seeing any easy wins anywhere. In fact, many of these places we are actually losing. Yeah, we're having some difficulty and they're, they're able to, to advance up along here. They have too many troops, guys. Yeah, I think they'll be able to push us back there. Okay, whatever, it's fine. They can have it, and they're gonna move all the divisions there. So we'll just we'll just take it behind them. That would if we took that. That'll cut them off up through there. So that's fine. Uh, what did we sink here? We got a light cruiser sunk. Okay, and a bunch of convoys. All right, so we're going to grab Stetton. Uh, we're very close to Berlin though, so let's go here first. We just need to get more troops up along this front. You can see that we're having a lot of difficulty here, guys. And I don't know why they're moving so much. The AI, man, they just do some weird, weird shit. It's just, I can't explain it. Like, why they they do the things they do. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we are very exposed here, guys. I almost want to move the Red Army up, but yeah, we, we do not have the troop numbers. I'm thinking about moving some of these guys into these armies to fill them out because I mean, all of our troops aren't even trained anyway. I mean, most of them are. Well, maybe they are all trained. Yeah, I thought a lot of them had taken enough casualties where they weren't trained anymore. But yeah, I'm almost considering just going and starting to throw these into the, the armies because our advance is being stopped because we don't have the troop numbers that we need. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and throw, like, probably all of these guys into this here blue army because there's just not enough troops. So let's go ahead and do that. And then... Let's take this division here and have him go up along this army. You know what? We don't really need him over here right now. We'll let him fully train then. And we'll wait. Alright. Uh, so, getting those extra troops over here I think will be really helpful. And let's go and attack these guys. Just try and help out here. We are about to lose that. Uh, I mean, it's not really that important anyway because we weren't going to cut them off. Uh, and our troops are tearing across the river, man. That's super stupid. All right, so you're not, not having any success up along here, guys. But Berlin is got to be in our hands. Ah, too little too late, man. Almost had it. So we just need to get the rest of these troops over here, guys. 
I think that that will help out quite a bit. I'm gonna try and get this province now that they are not there, uh, but we will have to lock them down in both of these areas to make that happen. We'll have to see if we can get there in time. Uh, one day and 11 hours is how long it's gonna take. And these guys are gonna get there in 14 hours unless we win here. So we're probably gonna have to take this guy and have him attack here to make that a win while the weakest division goes that way. Uh, we can also go this way in case they attack us there and we'll just leave that open, it's fine. Yeah, I don't know why they're messing my fronts up so much, man. They're just doing some weird shit. All right, let's go that way because it's open. We did win there. I'm surprised and wasn't expecting to win there. God, so close to Berlin and we just didn't get it there. Just didn't get there, guys. I don't think we have air support here or much air support. So that is one reason why we're having problems, guys. Uh, so what we need to do is let's go ahead and see if we can move some of these planes over to here to give us a little bit of close air support. All right, so we're going to do that and see if that helps us out. Uh, helps us out with some of these wins. I think it should. Uh, it does pull from here. That's fine. Uh, uh, we just are kind of short on planes, honestly. We just don't have anywhere near as many planes as I'd like to see. They they have decided to stop attacking us there, so that's good, I guess. Uh, five more convoys over here, and yeah, these are all troop convoys that we were sinking that are going across the Atlantic right now, and uh, this is probably killing a lot of their divisions. We're just gonna just make advancing over there in South America much much easier if we decide to do so. We don't actually need to do that because they're not they're not major powers. All right, let's go ahead and go this way. That division won't be on the front line for much longer. Attention. Right, let's go move him as well. All right, so just looking for easy attacks, but not seeing any. Frankfurt was taken from us, unfortunately, and we did not get there in time. Damn it! And they took Cologne from us. Shit. All right, so yeah, we weren't able to uh, weren't able to get there, guys. And we are into August now, so we're exactly one month into the war. That's it, because uh, we were playing kind of slow, of course, but. That's all right, though, because I like looking at all this stuff here, seeing all the convoys we sink, just seeing how successful our, our Navy and Air Force have been across here. All right, uh, and they still haven't pulled in the Chinese yet, so we don't have to worry about that front yet. All right, so as we get more troops over here, this will really help, because as of right now, we do not have the troop numbers along this, this front here uh, to do what I'd like to do. And we're just trying to get our organization up. Uh, do we have the cipher yet? Uh, two more days, and we'll probably use that soon after getting it. Maybe we'll let our organization get up first. I don't know. Uh, does the all the divisions have a front line? I don't think these ones do. Let's just give them one. Make sure that they're getting planning bonuses when they're sitting still. Could probably win here. A lot of their divisions are fairly weak. But yeah, I think what we should probably do is just wait till we get the cipher decrypted. And then use that for our, our offensive. There we go, it's decrypted. Alright, so let's go and go there. And then we're gonna we're gonna use that here soon. Just let's let all of our divisions get the organization up. And let's get let the blue army get up along the fronts that we just you know, that all those troops we just assigned. Alright, and then I don't want them to win there or there, but I don't know that we can actually stop them here. Let's try attacking there. Seeing if this will help in these defenses. We did get another division there. Alright, so yeah, they got a lot of troops over here. And yeah, they're winning all across here. And yeah, we're just a little bit too weak to really do launch a full offensive here. We did take dockyards from getting Stetton. Uh, so let's go and get those assigned real quick. Uh, so I suppose we can keep on going into submarines. How are we doing on convoys? We're just using a lot, but we're doing alright. Uh, I think I almost want to go ahead and start getting like another line here uh, of like destroyers since I'm not happy with the way our destroyers look. So you know what? Let's get another destroyer line. Uh, and, and I don't know if we need to make any changes to these. We could take a look though while we're in here. See if there's anything that we had gotten. I don't think so. No. I don't have the new radar yet. Do we have anything that's coming up? Let's just take a look. We're getting the uh, snorkels. Okay, so that's for the submarines. So, yeah, we're going to go and get the... Uh, Another line of the destroyers building. Put any dockyards we get into that. And then get these guys assigned to go ahead and deploy there. I did notice we had a ship done, and we're going to keep training these because I'm not, I have no respect for 
<laughs> the German Navy right now. Uh, and so we're going to train them all up, all the way up. Might as well. We did get some threes done training. So we can go ahead and throw those into this fleet right here. And then what we'll do is just pull out the destroyer ones and move them somewhere else. Uh, let me see. How many ships do we have here? Do we have enough? Yeah, I think we have enough. Uh, so we'll probably just put them into its own separate thing. Any ones that we pull out of here, just put them into their own little task force for right now. They probably won't do anything there. Just leave them right there for now. Uh, though we should probably make sure they go to a port. All right, excellent. All right, so they're attacking us in Stettin. Can't have that shit. We're about to get another division there, though. Uh, it does look like they pushed us back there as well, which is unfortunate. Of course, the front is wide. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and use the cipher and see how much of an impact this makes. Uh, so remember, uh, we, these are the current bonuses we're getting here. Uh, mostly intel. Uh, you did get the air detection and the interception mission efficiency, which we're not even doing interception. Uh, invasion penalty, negative 15% in planning speed, those are all good. Um, we're not doing the invasions, but the planning speed will help. Uh, of course, the defense and the breakthrough are the biggest bonuses that we're going to get from this. Um, that's going to help us out a lot. And then, uh, there's one more here, invasion preparation speed. Okay, that's, that's going to help us out either. But the intel bonuses are going to be fantastic. That's 50% for each one. Uh, and we already have pretty good intel in most things. Uh, we can see what they're rocking as far as their troop numbers go. Can you like look at these if you click on them? No. Maybe you gotta have a higher. Yeah, 80% to be able to click on them and see what the template looks like. All right, uh, but yeah, we got Intel pretty high as of right now. And I wonder how much of this is actually coming from Air Recon. A little bit, 0.22% uh, per day. So that's what I was saying. I don't think the Air Intel is that helpful. Now, given we don't have a lot of Air Recon out there, so maybe that's what it is. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get this. Uh, oh, we don't have anything being deciphered, so. Let's go and work on, I think we're going to do the Austrians next. Okay, so Austria's right here. So let's go and start work on uh, the Austrians, and then we're going to go ahead and use our Cypher here. So this will give us a 30-day bonus, and we'll see how significant that is. Hoping it helps out a lot. Let's go and attack them here. I'm trying to keep Stetton in our hands if we can. All right. And uh, we did take that province there. Let's go and attempt an attack here, though. Uh, damn it, this guy's pretty weak. I'm gonna try and do the attack there. It doesn't look like it's gonna be successful. We gotta take advantage of this uh, bonus that we have right now, though, so. All right, go ahead and try and get the win there. We did up losing here. Let's go and move our division there. See if there's anywhere else we could kind of help out here. The attack across there. Just trying to help these guys out. Same thing with here. That would actually be a win, so we'll take it. It's a bummer we lost Frankfurt. That's a real shame. They are pushing forward up here, and this is going to cause us problems. Um, yeah, that's that's not good. But this is wide open for us to cut them off now. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's move both of these divisions up that way. Let's go and attack here as well. But yeah, having a little bit of trouble up along the purple front. Uh, they're kind of doing some weird stuff here. Our division, I mean, are doing weird stuff here. We're gonna move this guy here so he can attack that tank once. Uh, once he gets to that province, we might go ahead. No, we're not gonna attack him just yet. They're attacking across the river. Uh, let me just see if there's anything we can do to. You know, if they get across that river, it might not be a bad thing. So as you guys can see, the, the the bonus hasn't helped tremendously. It's just helped a little bit. It's useful to have. Uh, it's, you know, saving us some casualties and stuff, but it's not like a win button. Doesn't mean you're going to dominate for, you know, 30 days or anything like that. Move these guys over here so we don't lose that. Bringing that guy back. I don't know if we'll actually beat him there, though. Uh, probably not. Oh, yeah, we'll actually beat him by two hours, so he'll fight us again for territory he already took. So we are here now. If we can get Cone, which we're currently defending, uh, but yeah, if we can get Cone here. That's what I'm going to do. Let's bring this guy over to here. All right, so they did attack across that way. Now I want to attack Colm. And we need to attack here to kind of help this out. That didn't last very long, did it? All right, let's go ahead and send this guy here. Are these guys not taking the railroads? The ones we just got? Seems like they're not. All right, so we do have a lot of these Blue Army troops that have gotten up to the front, so that's helpful. This, we lost Stetton, unfortunately. 
So we lost the dockyards that were there. I think we can win here, so let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, these look like these should be green as well. So we're just kind of trading provinces right now. They take a province, we take a province. Trying to get this guy to stop his attack. Clearly not going to work there. Let's see if we can't get a win there. And then attack over this way. Alright, so that is actually now going to be a win. We're having an attack with divisions that are really weak, unfortunately. Uh, we have gotten to Cone. Should be able to get it there, but... Uh, unfortunately... Yeah, they're bringing troops over here, so we're actually going to lose this now. Oops. Damn it. Alright, so that's unfortunate. Attention! All right, we may need to attack that guy. I didn't want to. I wanted to cut him off, but yeah, we're having some difficulty trying to cut these guys off. So having a lot of problems on this front here right now. I'm gonna try and get the win there. Doesn't look like we will be able to, but mainly just helping out with the defense there. Just seeing if there's anywhere where we can do anything along here. Not really. We already lost that as well. It does look like they're pushing us back in several areas. Again, it just feels like we're trading provinces right now. Uh, but we are advancing towards Berlin now, uh, so that's good. Uh, let's go and attack here. Could also defeat that guy there. Maybe we'll get him cut off, though. Let's try this. Try this out right here. Instead of having, we'll have him support and have this guy go in. And if we can grab these two provinces, we'll cut that tank division off. Uh, Berlin is within grasp with a really weak division there that's actually moving. Uh, but there's the river penalty here, so let's not do anything hasty. Can we stop these guys from advancing one day in zero hours? 12 hours we get there in 17 hours so what if we move this guy here could he get there in time he could he could beat all of them so we'll go and attack them there and then get our motorized troop over there so we don't lose that province all right so let's go and attempt the attack here again take that province that we lost take it back uh, we are about to lose there as well uh, there's a serious problem here uh, they're about to get into our fortified Dutch territory so They've done quite well in the south there. I'm actually quite surprised with how well they've done. I feel like us pushing this uh, this front here with the purple army has not gone well. All right, so we almost got that division there. We could also, is he still moving? When does he leave? He leaves in seven hours. What I think we're gonna do right. is have this guy go here so that he can go across to Berlin as soon as possible. It does All look right. like we're about to lose here now. Can we win with an attack here? Probably not. I mean, we're just like fighting with such weak divisions. <laughs> They're so weak, man. Yeah, okay, so that's not gonna be a win. Might as well stop it then. Same, same with here. Just might as well stop these attacks. Clearly not gonna work. Our organization's just too low. I do hope we can get the win here though. We can actually make that more likely. Sending in more divisions here. Alright, so tough fight up along here, guys. Let's take a look at the skies. Uh, so, yeah, we don't have control here. We just have too many planes. We do have control elsewhere, though. I don't really want to move fighters away from here. I don't think that'd be wise. Okay, well, let's go and dip around and see what we sunk. Probably just more convoys going through the English Channel. Uh, yeah, these are all British. Or, excuse me, I keep telling them British. <laughs> these are all Brazilian. Uh, like, apparently... If it starts with a B, it's all the same to me for the countries. Uh, so yeah, it's just Brazilian, Argentinian uh, troops as well. And uh, interestingly, uh, Poland is sending a lot of troops uh, through the English Channel as well. I don't know why, what they're doing. Or if those are just convoys. I suppose they could just be convoys. So about to get the win here, very close to getting it, and then we'll cut that division off. Um, this this guy needs to get here and so that we can go across to Berlin. Uh, but I don't think we'll get there in time. And we, he was supposed to go be going over there, but then something got messed up. All right, well that's unfortunate. Yeah, we're about to lose there as well. All right, so we'll just let him have it. It's fine. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. So we did cut these guys off. Uh, so let's go ahead and hold up. We got, a, we got our focus done finally. Let's go and take a look at this. And see what we want to get next. Uh, we, we already know what we want to get next. We want to get that really good bonus, uh, which is going to give us the manpower that we desperately need because we are extremely low on manpower right now. So, yeah, this gives us the negative 20% training time, which is helpful, obviously. Uh, but recruitable population plus 3%, so that's more population. 
Uh, most importantly, recruitable population factor uh, plus 25 percent. That will basically nullify what that one's doing. So it's technically not a benefit. So it's nullifying a penalty right now. But once we get rid of that penalty, it'll be quite the benefit. So yeah, they did cause us some serious issues here. We're gonna go ahead and help out, and try and get the win there. But yeah, still having some troubles here, and I think we're gonna go ahead and have this guy move out of there. I can't get him to retreat. Just retreat, man. And there we go. So China is now the Chinese warlord is now into the conflict. Now we just have to see if we can defend here. I don't. I don't think so, guys. All right. Yeah, this is clearly not gonna work. So let's have them leave here. I thought that maybe we could hold it if we had built the fort, but we didn't have time to build for it, so. Alright, so they're going to flee, come over here, get onto this front with us. I don't know if we can defend it. I don't know if I sent enough troops, guys. But we will try. We'll try our best. While they still refuse to attack our forts, damn them. Uh, we're still building up forts along that line as well. Alright, so these guys have now been cut off. Let's get them destroyed, and that is a medium tank division, so it's quite helpful. Stettin yeah, is won. open again, so we're going to take it again from them. Uh, just, again, we're just kind of trading provinces. We're fighting in, you know, areas we've already won in. And this is clearly a loss here. All right, so we actually did win there. Nice. Uh, so we're going to take that from them. And, yeah, this, this front here, this purple front is problematic, guys. I'm just not really able to do what I want to do there. Trying to get this guy to retreat. He's taking his time, though. Hopefully he'll get out of there soon. We'll just give that province up. Clearly we can't hold it. Uh, we could advance here, though. Oh, maybe not. Can he help? He can't. All right, so we'll attack there. Uh, looks like we might build a win here. We just got... The divisions are so damn weak, man. Uh, we did get the engineer companies, so that's great. That'll help with the few rare times we do attack across rivers. Uh, could go to get MPs, so the, the territory we're occupying is, you know, easier to, to occupy. Uh, cost less manpower and such. Could get the recon company for more reconnaissance. That'd be nice to have as well. I'm just trying to see what all we haven't got yet. Uh, we need more artillery. Could improve the anti-air and the anti-tanks. Uh, we already got something devoted there. And I want to say... We do need a, more ship stuff. Uh, we need to get those submarines going, but we'll just wait to get those. It's fine. All right, so yeah, I think we're going to do... Well, I, yeah, we're far, far enough away. We won't get the 1943 tax. Yeah, I think we're going to do something here, guys. Could also get the night vision, and yeah, I suppose we need a lot of stuff here. Let's start with the anti-tanks. That's a passive bonus to deal with these German tanks. So I think it'd be helpful. So they're trying to bring a division over here to stop us from getting Staten, but I think we should beat them. We're going to get there in four hours. Yeah, we'll beat them, but they'll have to attack us. I'm about to take that province there. And he's moving over this way. Okay, so Berlin is just, it's within grasp of us. We just need to wait for them to leave there. And if we can grab Berlin, I think that'll be huge. It won't, it won't result in their capitulation though, unfortunately. Attention. About to get that province back. Super helpful. Um, I think we're gonna send these guys in. Who gets there first? He gets there in six hours. Four hours, okay. So we're gonna move him here over, instead of what we were doing. Same with this guy here. Yeah, that purple front has been more than trouble, troublesome. It's been a big issue, guys. All right, so we did lose that province there. Uh, we did get the radar, so we can build the better radar. Uh, let's go ahead and keep on going down the radar line. We're kind of behind on our radar. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the radar coverage extended. We're going to build here, here. Just try and get radar coverage widened. Uh, I mean, I don't even know that. We'll wait to build it here in, in the Mediterranean. But until we fight the, the communists, we don't really need it there. And I think that's probably good. Uh, let's take a look and see what's going on over here, see if they've attacked us yet. They have not. They have decided not to attack us just yet. We're getting two more divisions over here. They're going to take that from us. Uh, we don't really lose much from that. That's why I said it probably wasn't even a good idea for us to uh, to try and defend it. Uh, so what's the decision that we have available here? Uh, expand rubber. Okay. Um, do we need rubber? We will need it soon, um, but do we want to get it now? It's eight rubber. Yeah, you know what? We're going to do it. Let's expand rubber production. Uh, so we now have uh, another operative slot uh, that we had gotten from that spy that was killed, the German spy. So we can go ahead and uh, recruit an operative. Now you can see we, we actually have different operatives uh, available here. 
uh, from other countries uh, that we could, you know, countries we're at war with. Uh, so I almost want to go with an Austrian this time. We also have the demolition expert here. Or excuse me, this Hungarian. Uh, but yeah, uh, Austria-Hungary, basically. So we could go with him, and I'm tempted to do that, uh, to get the, the Austrian one. Since I feel like Germany's gonna be defeated soon, hopefully, anyways. All right, still trying to get our intel up with them. We haven't sent anybody here yet against the Austria, Austria-Hungary, so I think we'll go ahead and send them there, though. I think for right now, let's use them against Germany, and then we'll, we'll move them. I'm just trying to see if there's anything that would be helpful to do here. Uh, we could do the propaganda to reduce their stability and war support. I think we should do that. Just let this guy here. So hopefully we can get them out of the war sooner. That's what I'm thinking. So let's go ahead and send them there and see if that'll uh, make it easier to get them defeated. I'm going to keep on bringing somebody to Berlin before I'm able to get there. Oh, the and then they attack us there. So I'm going to try and get across here, guys. Three days and three hours as of right now. But let's attack. I know it's across the river. But let's just make it happen. Attack this way as well. Just trying to help out and make sure that we keep steading. I know we're going to lose that, but I'm just trying to get them to leave me alone so that we can do the attack here. In fact, let's bring this division over here so that the defense will finish up quicker. Looking for other areas where we can attack. I think this would be a good location here. I probably should have sent those two together. All right, so we are winning that defense now, uh, but we won't be able to hold them for much longer. And this has now resulted in them sending in more divisions into Berlin. So close to getting it, though. Uh, we... No, we're not going to take their, their lend lease. Let's find Italy. Build trips of your own, damn it. Uh, let me take a look and see if Italy has any manpower that we can make use of. Uh, they have 13,000, not much. All right, so we won't. Won't be able to get any more troops just yet. Uh, they're engaging our freight convoy. So their submarines are attacking here. Remember, we did bring uh, that task force here to, to help them out. Uh, so what I might do is go ahead and send them another uh, division. Or excuse me, ship. I said division. Uh, send them another ship here. Right now they only have five. Well, they gotta wait until the battle's over, apparently. Oh, and they are attacking us along this fort here. Um, this is, yeah, this is our level five fort, and they're attacking uh, and winning. Okay, uh, so I was thinking we wouldn't need to send this division, but we do need to send them. Let's get them going on there now. And we just don't have many divisions to do much here. So let's go ahead and hurry up and get a division over there. He gets there in one day and six hours, uh, and we're probably gonna have to attack across this river. Uh, let me see when he gets here. He gets there in 22 hours, so that's quicker. Alright, so we're going to have to leave some openings here, guys. It's kind of unfortunate, but yeah, we just uh, we don't have the troop numbers, man. I wasn't paying attention to this either. We could have reacted to it sooner if I had been. Alright, so this is not going to work. So stop your attack there. Uh, it looks like they took that province from us right there as well. And yeah, just not having a good time of it right now, guys. Might get Berlin, though, so that'll be big. That takes a lot of their factories from them. This is, like, kind of flip-flopping between a win, you know, yellow and yellow and green. Uh, looks like we are going to win there, so we're not going to let them go there, then. Yeah, they did push us back to our fort line, though, man. They did incredibly well along this front here. Germans aren't giving up now that they have, uh, you know, brought all those troops from the eastern front. And, surprisingly, the eastern front is still pushing forward, probably because of Polish and Romanian troops. Uh, but yeah, they're actually doing quite well. They did take that province from us, uh, unfortunately. So this is uh, quite impactful now. Um, what we might need to do at this point now is just try and stop them from getting here. Because they're going to send more troops here, and there's the fortifications right there. Yeah, they might break through here, guys, and we'll have to defend right up along here. I was not prepared for them breaking through this area. Uh, but what we're going to go ahead and do now is we might want to not build the fortifications here any longer. Since we're about to lose it. I mean, we'll finish the ones we have, I guess. But, yeah, what we might want to go ahead and do is then build this one up. Maybe in Venice as well. We'll see if we can get there. So these should be down here. So let's put those up at the top and prioritize that. All right, so, yeah, they're, we're having some trouble in Italy now. Uh, and we did sink one of those German submarines that were attacking our convoys. Uh, let's see if they're attacking us here. They are attacking us here. But no success across all these three attacks. Uh, so I imagine we're killing quite a few of them. So that's... Very, very good. All right, so we did get Berlin. Uh, right. Awesome. So I wasn't sure if we were going to get it or not, but we got there. Uh, so let's go and stop this attack. Actually, right. let's go and have this guy stay here. We'll bring the tanks in. Uh, though he's not going to get there quickly, is he? All right, so let's just have him go here and then him go here then. Let's go and bring this division over here. It looks like we did lose that province. 
So yeah, just very a lot of problems, guys. Let's take these two. Have them attack here. See if that's a win. Berlin has fallen. Viva la France. Uh, though, if we keep it or not, it's hard to say. I don't think so, guys. They're attacking us there as well. Maybe we'll go and attack them in Cologne again. Just try and help out here. We'll bring in divisions to kind of support that. And so this is going to fail miserably. <laughs> Alright, man. They are putting up a hell of a defense. Let's go and dip back down here. Uh, we did get our province back. Alright, awesome. Let's go and see if we can keep it now. Uh, and we have this other division coming right. here. Where is he? Because he needs to get his butt down here, like, pronto. Uh, he is making his way. Probably should have sent up earlier. That was my bad. Uh, so, let's go and say we don't want to be notified of this. So that uh, decision goes away. Two more convoys sunk there. Good job, guys. Not really seeing any areas to attack up along here, so we'll just wait. Uh, they are attacking us there and winning. Uh, and it looks like we are keeping Berlin now. Awesome. Uh, and we still have Stettin. We have this province as well. Things are going well, guys. Yeah, so how far until they capitulate? Uh, so the Soviet Union 78% still, so they haven't actually made any progress in that regard. And the Germans are 53% towards capitulation. All right, excellent. Uh, we could take a look and see like where their stability and stuff are at, seeing if we're making a difference. I don't know if you can see that in here. Okay, you see it up here. Doesn't look like we've done much here. War Heroes being killed has been ticking it down. The bombing's ticking it down. Uh, but yeah, War Support is still at 100%, guys, because they're in a defensive war. Uh, and their stability is not impacted yet either by the, that uh, spy, spy thing we're doing. I don't think we've had any progress just yet. Okay, it only ticks it down by very, very little. Okay, I see. That's pretty slow. That's also not a very experienced spy, so I'm sure that's having an impact as well. All right, let's take a look at the situation here. Um, I mean, they're still they're still beating us all along the front, so this is not good. I almost want to just retreat um, to here. Uh, so where's this guy at? Is he coming to? Okay, he's coming right there. I just want to retreat so we can defend this a little bit easier and just kind of give up on Venice, which would be unfortunate because it's a lot of steel and aluminum, uh, factories, a dockyard, a lot of good stuff there. Um, if we could just defend up along here and just give up here, I know that these are higher level forts, uh, which I don't want to give up, but I mean, that's a level 10 fort. They're not, they decided to not even attack there, but yeah, we can't win here though. I just don't see us winning there. And try and get another division over here. This does leave this open. Uh, we're very exposed right now, guys. I think we're going to go ahead and move another division over here. I know he's not a great division. And maybe even bring this guy as well. Clearly, we need more troops there. Uh, where are those damn troops that we were getting from the, the Italians? Okay, let's let's go ahead and deploy divisions. Um, and deploy all them. Deploy them. Then delete that line there. And then I'm actually going to delete one of these guys. Oh, these are the Italians. Never mind. All right, let's just deploy these two. Get them into their own little training area right here for right now. All right. So we got a lot more troops over here deployed. I think we're going to go ahead and take these guys and start getting them moved uh, to front, even though they're not trained. We kind of need them here. As long as they're not green where they're getting the penalty, I feel like it'll be okay. They'll have to learn on the job, guys. And then since we're losing over here, let's go and send a lot of these down here to the Italian front. Get them some assistance. Try and hold on as long as we can there. And then let's go ahead and take these guys and move them over to this blue army here. Get them up to 16 divisions. And then this one here will go to the purple army. Let's try and do what we can, guys. Yeah, still just having a lot of difficulty across the front. We just don't have the troop numbers. We really needed like a quick advance, which we initially got, but now, as you can see, we're having trouble. They have stopped us. All right, so let me just take a look at how things are going. So the Italians launched an evasion. Okay, excellent. Good job, guys. So this will distract them, hopefully kind of pull them back from here for a little bit. Uh, we'll just have to see how long we can hold out here, guys. I feel like we're going to lose uh, all this territory here. I almost want to go ahead and have these guys retreat and just give that one province up. Because, yeah, I feel like we are going to lose here. Yeah, like, we're about to lose that. Damn it. Okay, this is what we're going to need to do, guys. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and pull all these guys back. 
Lisez bien. I'm gonna have them take the railroad if possible. And then let's get these guys out of there as well. See how that goes. Let's go ahead and start building the fort up here. Let's go and just stop on all fort production here. And let's just go ahead and build the forts up along this area here. And that should be prioritized, right? No, I'm not. Is it at the bottom here? Yep, yeah, it's at the bottom. Let's go and put that up at the top there so they get that constructed. And then, yeah, just stop the attack here. Hopefully we can make this happen here. Everybody get over here, please. Because <laughs> if we lose that port, I mean, yeah, I guess we do need to attack across here. Try and make this, uh, how long till they get there? Well, they have days before they get there. Let's take a look and see how it looks now. 20 hours. So we're just going to let it go a little bit. All right, we did get troops there. Let's go and attack them now. Try and lock them down longer. Those guys are retreating. These guys are getting here. And they're retreating as well. Let's see if they can get out of there in time. Uh, bring a lot of troops down here, but they're not taking the railroad, so let's fix that. Get over there. Quickly, men. Quickly. All right. So, yeah, we're losing up along that front. Uh, the forts, we didn't get them built high enough, and they just weren't as effective as I was hoping they'd be. Let's go and attack here. Okay, that's not going to work. Let's pull it back then. So, yeah, having a lot more difficulty now, guys. Uh, I think our offensive has been stopped. Now we're about to fall into a, a hardcore defense now. <laughs> all right, so let's go and make sure both these guys are retreating here. We have this guy coming as well. We're just going to give up all these forts here that we built. Spend so much time building. Uh, try and get all our troops over here to Venice in time. Uh, it looks like they might not get there, guys. Let's tank cross here as well. All right, so we got there. Uh, when does this guy get out of there? Mere hours. Okay. Could try and hold uh, Venice, but I don't think we'll be able to. We'll have to see, I guess. I didn't build forts there, but they'll probably keep attacking us anyway. They did win here, oh. though. All right, so that's not good. When did they get there? One day and five hours. Two days, zero hours. Two days and zero hours. So this one right here is the one that's going to get there before us, so we can't stop him, unfortunately. Huh. What if we just took the railroads while we... Yeah, I'd like to retreat some of these guys, but how about if we just retreat one of them? All right, he can't retreat. All right, so that's unfortunate. I don't think we're going to be able to stop them. Unless we took the railroads over there, but then they'd be so weak. they just get defeated automatically. All right, so yeah, we're having a lot of problems with bigger guys. A lot of issues. About to lose there as well, though we could move them out of Venice that way. Huh. I think we're just going to have to take the railroads, and then I don't know how much that will actually stall them, though. Probably not much. Remember, this is a, a level 5 fort, so I don't want to lose it. And plus, it kind of opens it up here for some serious issues. Uh, shit, I'm not entirely sure how we're going to deal with that, guys. I mean, you could try and take the railroad, but I don't think that would uh, stop them for very long. Hmm. I'm just going to try it, guys. Because I don't think attacking them would work well. What about this guy? Can we stop him? He's two days and eight, 18 hours. You know what? I think you just get defeated immediately. It probably wouldn't work. We're just going to have to give it up. I don't think we'll be able to beat him there. Maybe he can get there clear? 18 hours. Maybe. 20 hours. I think we might actually get there in time, guys. Uh, we'll have to see. All right. So they're attacking us up along here. So more more losing, guys. Uh, so yeah, we are, we are having some trouble against the Germans. I thought this was going to be a little bit easier um, than it was. But yeah, they're actually putting up quite the fight. Let's go and attack here. Looks like that should be an easy win. Uh, and they're going to try and take Stetton from us again, so let's attack him here. I don't know if that's going to have any, you know, that doesn't look like it's going to have much of an effect. Let's try and get another division over there then. Attention. See if these guys can win. They could win. All right, so we'll go ahead and do that attack then. All right, uh, so now I'm just kind of worried about what's going to happen here. Still trying to get this division out. Looks like we might be able to defend Venom now. Nope, it ticked over. All right, so we did get the division there in time to stop them well hopefully hopefully you can hold them long enough so we can get those troops there this guy gets there in 10 hours still holding out here all of our troops are here let's go and retreat them now uh, we're not gonna be able to hold venice guys we gotta give it up it's unfortunate if we had more divisions over here but i thought one would be enough with all those forts the forts weren't high enough level though i think and we did finish this up so this will help reduce casualty numbers and such uh let's go ahead and go after 
Well, we have a research bonus for the mechanized, so I guess we'll go after the mechanized. Those are in our medium tanks, uh, so it'll be useful to have those. All right, let's go and take a look at the Chinese and American situations. We haven't dipped over here in a while. You have no success here, uh, so that's good to see. Let's see if they push this back here. Uh, no, it doesn't even look like they're attacking us here. We might even be able to attack them successfully. Uh, remember, they're completely surrounded at this point because they've been pulled into all the wars, so we're just defending until they get defeated by the Japanese. We could attempt to advance ourselves. Take a little bit of territory of theirs. I wasn't planning on doing that, but you know what? We'll give up the entrenchment bonus because I feel like we could win here now. So let's go and attack across here with all these troops. Attention. And then these guys here will just support this attack. Yeah, we're going and march across here because, yeah, they're they're about done. So we'll see if we can't get ourselves a state there. All right, so we've got a little bit of time left, guys. Not a lot. Five minutes or so. And yeah, this is this has been a rough, guys. Very, very rough. we got another division there to hold out long enough to hopefully get this troop here. And then we can kind of like... We lost that there. That's fine. We knew we were going to lose that. These guys are all retreating here. And we should be able to hold that province now that we'll have enough division. Still waiting a lot of these troops over here to get here. Uh, do we still hold Berlin? We do still hold Berlin. And not only that, but it looks like we've taken the province next to it here. Well, let's go and pull that back. I don't know why I did that attack. That was silly. Let's go and try and send another guy into Stettin. See if that works. See how things are going up along this front where we've had nothing but difficulty. Uh, they've really been doing well on their counter attack here. Uh, I'm going to try and attack here. Just try and help out on that defense. I don't know how well that will work, but we'll try. Uh, we could easily reduce the size of the front by attacking here, so let's go and make that happen. And this guy's going to need to go here. Support that attack. Send a better division, or faster division, I should say, into there. Uh, looks like this is open as well. We'll see if we can't get there before these guys. 13 hours. Yeah, we'll get the reform just barely. So we're going to bring those divisions in there. Just trying to take these provinces that they leave open against us. Uh, and it does look like we could attack here. Now there is a river penalty there, but I feel like it's worth it to eat that. All right, we are so low on manpower, guys. So low. Uh, it is It is bad. I almost want to delete a division. But I don't really want to delete any of these divisions. Uh, but yeah, I'm tempted to. Uh, but we can actually move some of these troops, uh, tanks, over to these armies here. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's go ahead and move all of these medium tanks over to the Red Army. Oh, yeah, it looks like I moved one too many. Uh, how many of these guys do we have? We have seven. How many of these? All right, so I think we're going to move some of these light tanks out. And then put them into, just put them into the Blue Army. And then so that allow us to stick this guy into here. And then uh, we can go ahead and take this guy and move him into the blue army as well. All right, so now that the blue army is getting wider, what we might do is pull them over here now so they can kind of help us cover all this here. Since so we are losing this territory, and then we can pull the purple army back, which has had no success, really, uh, trying to defend all this. Just a little bit too much, I think, for them. So we did lose Venice. Um, instead of having them go there, which we're not going to be able to hold it, so let's just pull this back. And instead let them all go to where they need to go to defend this territory for us. Get more troops over here as well. So I think we should be able to hold up along here now. Uh, it's it's a for really unfortunate we lost Venice. It wasn't part of the plan, guys, but it happened. Uh, so we're, we're advancing there. Uh, just looking for other areas where we can attack. Getting a division over there. Right. Yeah, he's going there as well. All right, and these are all green. Uh, so this looks great. Let's take a look at the Chinese front. See how things are going here. Uh, looks like we were able to advance everywhere. Uh, everywhere is successful. They're defeated over there. Uh, and over here, they're having no success either. We could probably take our province back if we wanted to. Right. I think we might go ahead and do an attack here and just see what happens. At least be able to wrap that up. They'll attack us back, but that's fine. That's fine. As I think we can win that that attack and get our province back. All right, so we are actually losing here. Attention. So what we might want to go ahead and do is take one of these Attention. divisions here and get him moving over there. Could perhaps attack this guy here. Uh, let's just wait till we get those divisions on there. 
All right, so yeah, they have had success there. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of green. We'll soon have the two neighboring provinces, the provinces neighboring Berlin. We'll soon have those in our hands. We're attacking here. We get to stop that attack right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Just trying to get the, the win there. And then also, I believe we could probably successfully attack right here as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Push them back right there. All right. So just waiting for all the troops to get up onto the front. And we have now gotten all these troops here, so I feel pretty good, and I kind of want to do the attack here to see if we can't win. I'm going to try, guys. Let's go and send some troops in here and see if we can't, at the very least, stop their attack, but maybe, just maybe, we can get our forts back. I know we're taking losses here uh, in this attack, but I don't know. They keep the attack going, so we might be able to get that fort back. So we're going to try. We will try. Uh, looks like we won here. It's going to attempt the attack on Colin again. I'd like to get that in our hands if we can. Clearly lost there, and there's no stopping that. Uh, but we're winning over here, so and here, so we're thickening the borders up there. Not really anything going on in the sea right now. I know we still have this province here we need to get, but that's fine, guys. It's it's not going to hurt us having that not having that province in our hands. Uh, would help a little bit towards capitulation, but probably not much. Uh, and clearly this didn't work. Okay, I thought we might be able to do it, but it didn't work. All right, so let's go and dip back over to China. See how things are going there. Uh, and yeah, we should be able to now at this point pretty much do as we will. Let's go ahead and have these guys attack over this way now. And then just keep on pushing forward. Try and get control of this state if we can. All right, excellent. Kind of make up for some of the losses we're taking on this side. Make up for the loss of Venice, I suppose. All right, so let's go and move all these troops over to here. They're bringing a lot of troops that way. Let's just bring one of these guys over to here. Try and get that province back into our hands, that nice uh, fort that we had there. And then we'll take a look at how the fort building's going. Uh, so we did take this province, or we're about to. Um, let's go and try and take here again. And I'll try and get Stetton once these guys are arrested. All right, so uh, looks like they did beat us right there. All right, so that's a shame. We'll have to pull it back here. Again, problems, guys. Colm is not going to be ours either, unfortunately. Alright, so uh, this is no longer a success. That was a shame. I thought we had it there, uh, but apparently not. Maybe if we throw another division in and then support with these guys here. Yeah, that's clearly not going to be a success. So let's just pull it back. Alright, so that's a shame. I thought we had it. Uh, but we did not. Uh, I'd love to get that if we could, but they have more troops coming, so I just think it will be end up being a uh, eventual loss there. But we could maybe get the win here. No, that's red too. All right. So we are going to get the win there, and we should get it here as well. We did lose that attack there, uh, but we have a lot of troops here. We can now attempt to attack Stetton again. So let's try. Let's see if we can't get that into our hands. And. Uh, Let's attack here just to kind of stop any troops. Doesn't look like we'll be able to get Stetton. Alright, but that's a shame. Can't take it there. Take that province right there, though, so let's go and make that happen. Alright, excellent. Let's push him forward up there in the north. We did take this fort back. Excellent. So let's go and take a look at the situation here. We're trying to build this up to eight at least. So let's go and get all these built up and uh, make sure that they're prioritizing. Uh, so these ones should be up at the top here. And of course they won't build while they're being attacked, but that's okay. Alright, so let's make sure he stays there. Somebody's def so somebody's defending that. And we could attack here to try and help out. Um, let's go and send this guy over to this province. Let's send more divisions here. And I think we will go and attempt an attack here to see if uh, what we can do here. I'm trying to help them out in that defense. I don't even know if they're attacking that way though, it might just be these two. Yeah, that's clearly not going to work. So yeah, we might end up losing it again. I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes, guys. All right. So that is actually going to be the end of the episode, unfortunately. Uh, so it's it's really flip-flopping right now. This has been a tough fight. Uh, I was hoping to get them defeated quickly. Uh, we used our Cypher, which I don't think we have going anymore. Um, it's active right now. It's active for six more days. So we're still getting those. That's So this is how we're doing with that bonus. <laughs> that's how bad it is. It doesn't look like we're having any success here. I think our, maybe our Intel network's not high enough to do it. Maybe we should try with an Intel network again. 
Yeah, let's just do two guys doing intel. Because that's not really increasing very much, uh, surprisingly. We don't have intel against them, though, so that's a problem. Uh, let's see uh, if we can... We'll just have to see if we can defend that province. That's key. Uh, we got that fort building there. I want to keep it. Uh, as far as I troops that are building right now, we just have these two tanks that aren't, aren't quite ready to go out yet. We only have 7,000 manpower left, guys. It is bad. Uh, but... We'll get this here, but not in, not soon enough, guys. We might have to delete a couple divisions. What I'm thinking is like divisions from around the world that we're not using. Uh, this is open as well. Let's go and attack here. Let's get these guys. Oh, they're defending, actually. All right, let's just go and attack here then. All right, so that's where we'll leave it off, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the casualties and see how much progress we've had overall. Also, the, the fuel situation isn't great. Uh, and I never did see how this ended, okay just with them losing an attack. All right, so let's take a look at all the casualties we caused and suffered from. Uh, so for this, the Soviet Union, uh, which of course is on our side, they've taken 2.13 million casualties so far, uh, for mostly from the, the Germans, and they are currently 78% towards capitulation, so same as what they were before. Uh, you can kind of see how casualties are going across the common turn. A lot of casualties for the British so far. And uh, looking at our side, King, uh, Kingdom of Italy has taken 13,000 casualties. While well, the French have taken 95,000. So, yeah, we've taken 95,000 casualties. 88 against, uh, was from the Germans, while 3,000 from the Austrians, 2.7,000 from Brazil, and 850 in China. So, for that 88,000 casualties that we've taken, which the Germans are 48% towards capitulation, by the way, uh, we have killed 422,000. So, 88,000 for 422. Not bad. Uh, they have suffered over a million casualties. Between most of that from us and the Soviets. Uh, we've killed 9,000 Polish. I don't even think they killed any of ours. Just taking a look at uh, Austria-Hungary. Uh, so they've taken 14,000 casualties. And while well, we did three to them. So, so far we're doing well in that regard. And then the Brazilians have taken 116,000 casualties. We did 59,000 of that compared to their 2,000. Sure, we sunk a lot of dudes in the sea. Yeah, uh, Venezuelans, 25,000 here. Uh, we've killed 4,000 of them, and they are currently 58% towards capitulation. There's somebody else I wanted to see, but I don't remember who it was. Oh, Argentina. I wanted to see how many of them we sunk. Apparently, we're not super sinking their troops. We're only sinking their convoys, uh, their, their, you know, their trade convoys. So that's the current situation. Uh, as far as deployed manpower goes, we do have more, uh, but a lot of those are probably Soviet troops that probably suck. Uh, and our side is taking more losses, again, mostly from the Soviets here. So that's the current situation in the war. Uh, we'll have to take a look at like the naval and air situations too, uh, just to kind of show you how it looks. I think this is the major problem, is that we don't have control of the skies. Uh, we just don't have the, the planes. We could take a look and see if we have uh, more fighters to assign, because I think that'd be helpful. We've got interwar fighters. Maybe we want to assign them. We have 100 fighters here that could go out. Yeah, I suppose we could do like 100 regular fighters, 100 interwar fighters, just to have another air wing out there. Uh, as far as close air support, though, we're actually short close air support. I'm taking a lot of losses here. So that's that's the current situation. I think uh, the fact that we're losing in the sky is probably causing us some serious issues in the war overall. Uh, so I hope you guys did enjoy the episode. I think it's going to be a tough fight to get Germany knocked out, but I think we'll be able to do it, guys, uh, as we get more troops deployed. Uh, and Because they, they're still fighting on this frontier, but I think we'll be able to do it. Uh, but it's gonna be tough. Uh, they're not gonna let us. They're not gonna let us, you know, defeat them easily. Uh, we do have their capital though, so there's that. So if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you leave that like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Remember, if you're looking for anything to watch, check out the front page of our channel. Uh, we got a 2,000 something videos to watch, including uh, a section specifically for Hoi Four because we have done like 20 something campaigns. So maybe check one of those out. You can also check that Portuguese series out that we're uh, doing simultaneously. Uh, so, so yeah, uh, we're going to end it here and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Thanks for watching.